It's like a scene from Disney's Fantasia, lampshades dancing through the air as if they've come to life. You might think this is a computer animation, but the shades are real, and they're really flying thanks to hidden quadcopters. The drones were programmed at the ETH University in Zurich. Roboticists here created a computer algorithm which they believe will set new standards in show business. There is no way that human beings could control these lampshades you know, with a remote control and do what we did in that film. Uh, you can only do that through this coordinated autonomous um, infrastructure that we've developed. You know, to have them flying in, in these formations, the way that they interact with the uh, performer, um, this is really breaking new ground. Each of these flying lampshades is propelled by a tiny quadcopter. The scientists worked with Canadian entertainment firm Cirque du Soleil on the choreography and pre-programmed most of the movements. Part of the concept was to keep the quadcopters from being seen. At first we thought it was really interesting to put lights on the quadcopters. And then at some point, almost by accident, some of our colleagues just, you know, joking and, and talking about lampshade. And I just, that made me stop in my tracks and I thought, wait a minute, did you say lampshade? Well, that could be really interesting. What if we had a number of lampshades starting to fly? They choreographed and filmed the video in a special rehearsal room. The programming of the drones took two weeks. While many of their movements are determined in advance, the algorithm permits autonomous behavior. For instance, allowing the drones to move to prevent a collision. Using infrared cameras, a computer tracks the positions of the drones, which are connected with one another via Wi-Fi. This researcher monitors the activity. There are several challenges. One of them is that you have to control many of them together, so you're actually looking for quite complex solutions that include all of the quadrocopters together. What you're seeing right now in the background is not pre-computed. Every time the quadrocopters are moving, the computer keeps planning new trajectories so that they will not collide when they're moving to the next point. The sky seems to be the limit when it comes to finding new uses for quadcopters. Here, researchers show that their flying robots can play badminton against a human, or even against each other. So, you know, we had this in mind. Uh, you know, can we design a system where flying vehicles can move and intercept a ball and hit it back and forth to each other? Just nothing like that had ever been done before. Uh, so, you know, our, pro our, our process is pick something really hard, and then see if you can figure out how to do it. And in the process, you know, you do great research. This performance is also the result of their quadcopter research. At the Lions Festival of Creativity in Cannes, France, an ad agency showed what the theater of the future could look like. 16 flying mirrors reflect the glow of the spotlights. Basically, you want to be able to have access in three dimensions to space. And this allows you to do that. You can have things moving around the stage in an arbitrary way without string. So then, you know, for folks that design sets, a lot of things come to mind. Geez, if I could do that, you know. So, uh, you know, for shows to have the ability to have, you know, the equivalent of, of, of birds, of, of, uh, of flying objects, you know, can be brought into a, um, uh, can give a certain meaning in a theatrical setting that you wouldn't be able to do otherwise. What scientists are aiming for is to make tomorrow's entertainment today. They believe quadrocopters will soon be playing a role in big shows and concerts. But even small venues will likely come up with bright ideas for the flying robots from Zurich. <laughs>